Hey guys, this is Andreas from Pocketables and uh, Samsung just announced its new Galaxy S3 smartphone which among other things has a feature called Smart Alert which basically if you try to do something without checking your missed calls from important contacts it's basically going to vibrate and let you know that you should check your messages basically sort of like a uh, delayed uh, notification that is based on when you're actually close to the phone and it occurred to me that that's something you could probably recreate using tasker which is this app right here i've talked about it in the past and it's an automation app for android that essentially allows you to automate different things based on different triggers and uh, I've looked around a bit and it's actually not possible to recreate the functionality 100% because you, while you can use the device moving as a trigger, that will only work uh, while the screen is on because if the app was going to sort of uh, check the accelerometer all the time, that would quickly drain the battery. Samsung doesn't seem to care too much about that or perhaps they've managed to find a way around it so it uses less battery power but uh, there are other alternatives to using uh, the device uh, moving as a trigger for instance uh, if i was going to do this i mean i always check my phone so i would never have any use for this but it occurs to me that it would be quite annoying to have this trigger every time i move my device after a missed call because I may have intended to check the screen all along so in that case I would simply put it or set it up so that the second tr uh, the trigger is when I leave the house and not when I pick up the phone so if I try to leave the home uh, leave my house without having checked my missed calls then it's going to alert me but uh, enough talk and let me just show you, uh, show you how you set this up. So basically you want to add a new context. I'm not going to bother much with your names right now. Um, and the first context is going to be um, under state uh, and then phone and missed calls. And you can also specify which caller in here if you want to. Uh, sort of uh, decide who is an important caller and not that's the trigger one of the triggers anyways is that you have a missed call and then what's going to happen is uh, let's say I want it to uh, vibrate and I also want it to play a sound and even notify me in the notification uh, drop down thingy so that's the task and um, since I'm not going to go outside the range of my Wi-Fi for this one uh, I'm going to add the second context as something that I can actually trigger right here so I'm actually going to use uh, sensor input I'm going to use the shake feature uh, which basically means when I move the phone uh, but as I said, that won't work with the screen being off, but in this case it will actually be on, so it doesn't matter. So with that ready and done, let's try to shake the device. Uh, and basically nothing happens because there is no uh, missed calls. So let me find my Skype and actually call myself on it. like that and then basically hang up which means that I have a missed call um, and then when I shake it again Tasker will display these well it will make it vibrate play the sound and then just the random letters that I put in there because I was too lazy to do anything else so in this case I have two triggers for this particular uh, context the first one being missed call and the second one being uh, that I shake the device but 
uh, as I said the shake the device thing won't work if the screen is off so you going to have to choose something else that will work when the screen is off for instance um, uh, leaving the house, uh, putting your car in the car dock, uh, yeah, having your Bluetooth headset be connected or I don't know, something like that. Uh, the battery life thing is why you can't use it, uh, use it uh, with the phone moving like the S3 can, but I think that for uh, this actually working on so many devices and having done so for two or three years or something like that now I don't know when Tasker was released I think that is pretty good uh, compared to the S3 feature being uh, only for that device so if that's something that you thought were extremely nice to have and uh, you can live with having different triggers than the phone moving then this will basically do the job for you and you can also set it up with messages and other things like uh, I don't know uh, Tasker is extremely advanced in what you can use for triggers and uh, actions so uh, you come up with the idea and Tasker can basically do it so that's just one of the things that the S3 can do that I wasn't impressed by simply because you can set up Tasker to do it as well so hopefully it helps some of you and uh, yeah thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later